Cano is a 19-year veteran of the telecom industry. His diverse work experience includes working as an outside plant design engineer, a project manager, and then director of sales for a national consulting firm. For the last 13 years, Cano has been applying his business and engineering knowledge and guiding eTex Telephone. Good morning. Thank you for having me. So big data for dummies. You know, you've heard, you've heard all week and with a lot of these presenters how we spend millions of dollars to update our business models. We enhance our networks, we train employees. You know, without a means to measure the results of those efforts, it is extremely difficult to accurately assess the impact of those actions. That's where big data comes in. It gives us concrete information upon which to base decisions. It removes assumptions and guesswork. And using data can address some of the most complex questions that we face. Let me show you an example of that. How women choose shampoo. Women choose shampoo based on smell, brand, color, design, recommendations, you know, reviews, popularity. And in contrast, how men choose shampoo. If it says shampoo on the bottle, that's how we're going to choose it, right? <laughs> Another good example, what has uh, group projects taught me? Well, they teach you communication is important, responsibility, collaboration, teamwork, but more importantly, trust no one because we all, we don't trust anybody else. Nobody can do it as good as you can, so you might as well not delegate. So why big data now? Because telecom business, telecom uh, business culture has, has shifted dramatically. We face stiffer competition in every facet. We have reductions in the regulatory support and our margins are smaller and our customer base aren't as loyal as we once thought that they were. In short, there are far less margins for error in today's business environment. Let me, let me ask a question and I, and I need to see people's uh, raise their hand honestly. How many of you have ever ridden in the back of a truck, in the back of a vehicle? Let me see a show of hands. Wow. There are a lot of knuckleheads running this, this uh, telecom industry. That's, that's, that's dangerous. We all have a tendency to make errors. We all have a tendency to make decisions that may be not based 100% with facts and information. And that's what I like to refer to as a knucklehead effect. You know, they're ready to bite us. We've all been exposed to that factor and at some point in our work lives. Knuckleheads and their input have been around for, for since the beginning of the time. We face a dichotomy today where technology has made it easier for those individuals to be heard, like social media. The tolerance level has been reduced significantly due to the competitive landscape, and there's just less room for those erroneous elements today. And big data can help. Big data can silence those individuals. The critical element in effectively using data is distilling complex concepts into formats that are easily understood. A picture is worth a thousand words. Third, third party analytics has allowed us to transform big data into a picture formats that resonate with all of our different departments and people in our organization, whether it's network facilities where we can tie in CAD information with billing information and financial information all into one view, inventory management or fleet management. Tracking, measuring, reporting, and understanding every facet of our operations provides us concrete information upon which to base decisions about our business culture. A lot of people are put off and by the perceived complexity of big data. Like many other things, we make it more complicated than what it, than what it has to be. My sophomore year at Texas Tech University, one of the engineering lab classes was considered by us as students as a weed out course. It was very, very difficult. The professor had a reputation of just having, you know, giving out hard grades. And after the first project and a handful of us made not so good grades, I, I decided to walk, walk to the professor and to his office and ask him, professor, what, what's it gonna take? What's it going to take for me to do well in your, in your class? His answer was, as he leaned back in his chair, pretty pictures. Excuse me? Pretty pictures? He said, come prepared with graphs, charts, analytics. What did you do? Why did it work? Why did it not work? If you understand all of that, then you know 
then you know the process to get there and you can improve on it and become better or correct those mistakes. So the moral of the story is the value of big data is the ability to distill complex information into a language that's easily understood by all and applicable to drive action. Big data is a resource to determine and drive needed business behaviors. It doesn't get much simpler than that. I do believe that data is the alternative energy source that will fuel all future business. Thank you very much.